Hey, what's going on, Fight Fans? This is Sean with Boxing Social and Other Sports giving you a quick update. Let's talk about Manny Pacquiao and his thoughts on him still being a pay per view star and who he wants to fight after he beats Lucas Matisse. And that's still Vasil Lamachenko. All right, let's start it off. Bob Arum wanted to put this fight on ESPN. Apparently, there's been some kind of contract dispute between Bob Arum and Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao said, I'm not signing you no more. Bob Arum says, yes, you are. Apparently, that's still up for debate. But in the meantime, he said, listen, I'm still going to help you distribute your fight. Let's put it on ESPN. And I'll still help you get some money. Uh, Manny Pacquiao was like, uh, No. I don't want this fight to be pay-per-view because I want some money. Bob Aaron was like, well, man, what am I supposed to do? Well, you can go ahead and put all the undercard fights, most of the undercard fights on ESPN. And while you're doing that all through the event, I want you to promote and pump up, hey, after these, if you want to see Manny Pacquiao, buy the pay-per-view, buy the pay-per-view, buy the pay-per-view. So my question is, does Manny Pacquiao still think he's pay-per-view worthy? I know he has some accolades from what he's done in the past. But as a famous song from Janet Jackson says, what have you done for me lately? Does he have enough merit to continue to be a pay-per-view star? So, you know, that's up for debate. But needs to say, Bob Arum should come to his request and said, okay, as long as you let me put a lot of the undercard on there, which means I get to... Put some of my up and coming fighters on there because people are still going to watch Manny Pacquiao fight. So we already know where Bob Arum is going with this. He's going to use that ESPN card to promote a lot of his upcoming fighters because you know Manny Pacquiao be probably got a year, year and a half left. End of 2019, he'll probably go ahead and call it quits. But on the flip side, Manny Pacquiao to a certain degree is looking past Lucas Matisse. And of course, you know, he's a fighter, he's going to say what everybody else says. Oh, I'm not looking past this guy. I'm taking him very serious. But after this, I would like to fight such and such. I mean, we hear that all the time from fighters. Let's just be honest. Y'all know good and well y'all look past fighters a lot of times. Stop stop acting like y'all not looking past certain fighters. If you weren't looking past them, you wouldn't dare mention another person's name who you want to fight after that. So, Manny Pacquiao, let it be known, I still want to fight Lomachenko. Um, that whole thing's going to come down to a weight discrepancy. I think in order just to make that fight, Manny probably has to come down to like 138, at least, for Vasil to even want to fight him. But we still got to see how he's going to do against Lucas Matisse. You better hope you don't get knocked out, because if you get knocked out and stop, we ain't going to see Manny Pacquiao for a while then. Um... But I want y'all to leave y'all thoughts, comments below. Hey, don't forget, if Manny does win for the regular, I think, WBA title from Lucas, or it's an interim W. w there's so many titles, it, it gets confusing. Whether it's the regular or the interim WBA, if Manny does win it, he would be considered 11-time champion. It's pretty impressive. But I still don't think it's pay-per-view worthy. But anyway, y'all leave y'all thoughts, comments below. Let me know what you think about Manny Pacquiao. Where do you think he will become the 11-time WBA champion? Do you think this fight is worthy to be on pay-per-view? And if he does win, what do you think your thoughts on him fighting Lomachenko and could he beat him? Till next time, this is Sean with Boxing Social and Other Sports. We're signing out.